be at an all-time high. Yes. But yet they hold back their hands and say, we did not do that, and that is not true, forcing their laws upon us. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, religion sanctifies what we do. Come on. Thus, when a prophet or a messenger comes to give the people a lot of God's coloring, which the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan stood up 64 years ago to give us a lot of coloring and Boy. to close the gap between our thinking and the thinking of Almighty God alone. That's right. But we will not know what that thinking is if we trust and rely on the open enemy to give us our information. Boy. We must come into the nation of Islam and become Muslim. Boy. Don't be afraid of that term. Muslim means one who submits their entire will to do the will of Allah. Yes, so as we are all in here together, Minister Tony calls it the washing machine, where we're all put in there as oh, dirty no. clothes, and we're being agitated, rubbing up against one another as clothes, not as human beings, not as people, Go ahead. but pushing the buttons of one another. Make it plain. Because we are gods, and we see God in each other, and each and every one of us have leadership ability and leadership qualities. So we may have a tendency to bump heads amongst one another. And then we may develop a certain attitude. Mm. Well, the attitude that the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan is asking us to have is the attitude of being kind to That's one another. Right. Of loving one another. That's right. Of going the extra mile for our brother and sister. Go out of our way to pick up our people to bring them to the mosque. Wait, Go wait. out of our way to give the homeless some food That's and right. love and comfort. Come on, man. By changing laws, we do not affect conditions because changing a law does not change attitudes or systems of belief. That's right. So it does not matter who we put in office. Right. It does not matter who is the president. It does not matter who is the senate or the mayor. It is up to us as the original people to take our rightful place as yes. leaders. Yes. So we can no longer think little of ourselves. We are God in the making. We are looking at a God who has been made among us in the honorable minister Louis Farrakhan. And he says, greater is in you than he that is in the world. So greater is in us. But we have to tap into that ability. We have to get rid of the weeds. We have to get rid of the negativity. We have to get rid of the depression. We have to get rid of the excuses. And we have to accept our own and be ourselves. And what is our own self? Come on, teach. Lesson number C1 says our own self is a righteous Muslim. Yes. And then the question is, are there any Muslims other than righteous? And what's the answer? I, I beg your, your pardon. pardon. I, I have never, never heard of one. Go ahead. But we have been made other than ourselves Come on, here now. in America. We have been colored by their philosophy. Yeah. Come on. So Come we on. have been made to feel inferior. Go ahead. The covenant was stolen from us. Right. So Chief. now they make us three fifths of a human being when we are more than that. Yes, is that right? Yes, ma'am. All praises due to Allah. The self comes from Allah God. Right? Yes, because we lack self-esteem, self-worth, we have developed an unwritten law that says if you get rid of a member of your own group, you have done nothing wrong. Mm. You have done something good in getting rid of this object of disapproval. Wow. We are not the object of disapproval. Yes. The open enemy is the object of disapproval. Wrongdoing is the object of disapproval. Stealing and not following the restricted laws is the object of disapproval. Right? Let's go into superiority complex and then I'm going to close out. On the other hand, the superiority complex of the Caucasians is a mindset in which the person becomes God. So they think that they are God over us. Thus, they want worship, adulation, and service. So as the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan comes out, hurling the truth at falsehood until it knocks out his brain, he's throwing rocks into crowds of God. Go ahead. Come on. How dare you say anything?
speaking about those who are controlling the masses. Go ahead now. Not only are they the center of their own existence, they want to be the center of everyone else. Right. Just like a little child. Go ahead. If you do not give that child what it wants, it will have a temper tantrum. And right. that is what we are seeing. That's right. They want to be the center of everyone's existence. Their attitude of superiority has so hardened that they will do anything on, to force submission of others to themselves. Think about that. Yes, they will do anything. Inject our children with poison. Yes. Feed us food that has been genetically modified. Yes. Give us their books. And say that slavery was a choice. Wow. Come on now. Think Trump on is leading the charge. Think on that. Think on you know, that. we actually need a Trump. Right. Because we Jeez. need to be awakened. Come on. Because we have been made blind, deaf, and dumb. And I will leave you with this. Come on. The vilest of beasts in Allah's sight are the deaf, the dumb, who understand not. They have hearts with, with they understand not, and they have eyes wherewith they see not, That's and they right. have ears with which they hear not. They are as cattle, nigh they are more astray. We do not want to be classified as those people. So I want you to accept your own and be yourself, and give us a round of applause for our next speaker. I further bear witness that Muhammad is his messenger, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, to be right and exact and down to the modern times. And I would not know anything about either one of those great men, because I was born several years after they said the most honorable Elijah Muhammad left us. Come on, Paul. I was born several decades after they said Master Fahd Muhammad left us. Come on. But I know about them because there's an Asiatic black man. He ain't perfect, but he's perfect enough for me. And I'm speaking of none other than the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. The Jesus figure in our midst. I said the Jesus figure in our midst. And if you don't understand that, keep coming to Muhammad Mosque number 27. You're going to figure it out. You're going to figure it out in a short time. Is that right? Yes, sir. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, and in those three great names, I greet you in the words of peace. We say it in the Arabic language. That's the language that we spoke before we knew anything about this grafted, bastardized language called English. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't want to be the bearer of bad news. I know you think Jesus was, was speaking Ebonics or English or, or what are the King's English as they call it. He, he wasn't. I'm sorry. In fact, we spoke this language before we knew anything about the bastard. That taught us this language. Right. The grafted bastard that taught us this right. language. And I call him a bastard scientific. We are the father of that man, is that correct? But we didn't take care of him, right? We didn't claim him, right? So that makes him a bastard, right? I just want to make sure that I'm being scientifically correct. I don't want you to think I'm just up here, you know, using using baby language. So one of those three great names, and in that beautiful language, I greet you in the words of peace. As-salamu alaykum. Wa alaykum, sir. 
I do want to start off, first of all, by thanking our beloved Western Regional Student Minister, uh, Tony Muhammad, for giving me this opportunity to speak to the people of God. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> I want to give my personal condolences to the families of the, uh, the believers in New Zealand who lost their lives, 49 of them. They didn't lose their lives. 50, it ain't like 50. 50. It ain't like they just woke up one day and their life was gone. Come on, come on. Their lives were taken from them. Come on. From a vicious beast, Go ahead. Uh, an right. animal, that part. Right. And, right. and humankind form. Yes. That's right. But I send my condolences to their family. And, you know, I'm not going to go any more into that. I'll leave that to our leader, teacher, and guide, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. But I do send my condolences to their sure. family. What a, what a time we live in today. That's Is that right. correct? That's right. And not only do you have incidents like that, but this is the time that the book of Revelations talked about, which is a flood of propaganda mm -hmm. right. coming from that dragon's mouth. That's it. Right. And some of us are drowning in that flood of propaganda. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Even though you have white men going into mosques, plural, and killing up to 50 people, even though you have them as the greatest terrorists that this earth has ever seen, That's right. the flood of propaganda got you thinking. Come on, That's come on. Got you thinking that your worst enemy is an R&B singer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Think about that. Got you thinking that your worst enemy is an R&B singer that died 10 years ago? Or an R&B singer that hasn't had a hit since 10 years ago? Think about that. We've been living under the tyranny of a white devil and an orange president. But this propaganda got you thinking, got our sisters thinking that their worst enemy is the black man. Got the black man thinking that your worst enemy is the black woman. Come on. Come on. Worst enemy, your worst enemy is the black woman. Now I know you, your baby mama get on your nerves. You know, we call her our old lady. But her proper name is the second self of God. Come on, brother. And the Quran, our duty per the Quran is to be the maintainer of that woman. Teach. So don't allow that propaganda to twist your mind into looking whoa, whoa. other than or away from your real enemy. Mm. The one that you see in human kind form and the one that has been embedded in you. Deal with that one first and then the one outside of you won't matter. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But I thank Allah that we have, even though we are in a sick condition, that we have a balm in Gilead, as it says in the scripture. Balm, B-A-L-M. That's like an ointment, a medicine. And in this sick time, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan said, in times of trouble, nurse your Quran. Nurse your Quran like a good mother nurses a child. But instead of the Quran pulling from you, you're pulling from the Holy Quran. Come on, brother. Yes. And there's a certain ayat in the Holy Quran that we really have to pay attention to in this day and time, dealing with this flood of propaganda. Surah 49, ayat 6, or verse 6. It says, O oh, you who believe, when an unrighteous man brings you news, look carefully into it, lest you harm a people in ignorance and be sorry for what you do. Now, to the believers or even the guests in here, how many of you have heard that ayat before? Raise your hand. All praise is due to Allah, that's good, that's good. But I'm gonna review a certain aspect of it because when you're dealing with the word of God and the Holy Quran is the only non-stepped on, non, <laughs> you know, non-played with, no Pyrex, no baking soda, pure word of Allah God, do you understand? But when you're dealing with the word of God, you have to not only consider what's being said, but also what's not being said. So I'm gonna, go, I'm, I'm gonna repeat that ayat, and I want you to pay attention to what's not being said. It says, oh you who believe, oh you who do what? Believe. Okay. Oh you who believe, when an unrighteous man brings you news, what kind of man? But what kind of news did it say? 
It didn't say what kind of news, did it? It said when an unrighteous man brings you news, good news, bad news, fake news, real news, no matter what kind of news it is, look carefully into it. So even if it's true, even if Mike did what they said he did, even if R. Kelly did what he said he did, why are they bringing you this news now? So the Holy Quran is telling you that whenever an unrighteous man brings you news, don't even pay attention to the news. Take another look at the unrighteous man that's giving you that news. All praise is due to Allah. And that's the hour that we're in right now. Don't pay attention to the story. Pay attention to the man that's bringing you that news. But when a righteous man brings you news, the final call news, we don't just bring you the news, we bring you a program. We tell you what we want and what we believe. The LA Times don't tell you what, what they believe. The Jews don't tell you what they want, what they believe. All praise is due to Allah. But at this time, dear brothers and sisters, I am honored to do something that I've been blessed to be able to do the last few weeks. When we go out there amongst the people, we're not paper boys. <laughs> we ain't just Negroes in a suit. No, sir. We are divine paramedics. That's right, that's right. We going around picking our people up and bringing them to the mosque pit, is that correct? That's right. So I want to, I want to introduce to you, you won't let me call them the, 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 the foremost no more. I'm going to leave that to the minister. But I got a new name for him. When we go out there, we bring him, we bring our people to our divine Western Regional Doctor at the hospital, I need you to stand up and give it up for our Western Regional Student Minister, Mr. Tony Muhammad. servants who've come in a mighty line of divine. But let us thank him for those who did come from him. For God loves man and humanity so much so that every time man goes astray out of God's infinite love he always sends one to bring us back to the right path. That's right. So let us today, let us thank him for Abraham. Let us thank him for Moses. Sir. Let us thank him for Muhammad. May the peace and blessings of God be upon these great and worthy servants of his. And today, let us not get confused that we allow our open enemy to force us to choose between God's servants as to which one is the best. Come on, come on. Come on. The devil is always making mischief. Right? Always. always. God is but one God. That's right. But the devil slips in and will make you worship the prophet and not the God. Come on, man. 
Then the devil is so slick. He's been doing what he's been doing for 6,000 years. Come on, brother, man. Telling lies. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Right? Yes, sir. Right. Causing mischief. Huh? What have the Caucasians been doing for 6,000 years? Turning one group against another one. Huh? Yes, Got you fighting each other while he's still alive. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. So we have to be careful today because the enemy have turned us into gangbangers. Man, come on now. about that. We're not just a bloody crip banging. We spiritually gangbanging too. Huh? He got you gangbanging in the name of Jesus at Muhammad. That's right. Huh? God says, make no distinction between my prophets. Go ahead. Well, I sent them. And if God is but one, he ain't got 80 different religions. Go ahead. If God is one, he only has one religion. And every prophet, I mind you, came with the same religion. So I thank him for those of whom I've mentioned. But today, I want to bring you some good news. And I know, Brother... Lightning just told you, be careful who bring you the news. That's right. You good. You good. Yeah, no, man. Man. no. Ain't nobody good. But thank you. Yes, check sir. me too. Yes, Always fact check. Go ahead. That's right. Because as a human, sometimes I listen to things and sometimes I may miss a number or two. Mm. Just being human. Yes, sir. Human error. You know, but I mean well. Yes, sir. But sometimes you can make a little mistakes. But today I do want to bring you some good news. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. And the good news is that we are, meaning we, I'm talking about people of color. Yes, sir. The black man. Yes. Go ahead. The brown man. Come on now. The red man. That's right. That group of people who have been conquered by Caucasians. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. Now, y'all know we talk about white folks in here. Go ahead. Right. Yes, sir. And what I love about it, we don't just do it in here. We do it in their face. Go ahead. They, they don't never say we're lying. It's beautiful. I ain't never seen a white man come to challenge the nation. Only yeah. his Negroes. Yeah. Go ahead. Say that, brother. I get so sick of battling the Negro. Would you sit in your balls? <laughs> Go ahead. You don't know nothing. You made in his image. Right. You made after his likeness. You love his world. Go ahead. So send him. Get your little cheek butt out there. Go ahead. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. The good news is a man came. Fulfilling that song in the church that says, there's a man going around. Take it in. He knows who to free and who to blame. Who is to blame for the condition that the black man and woman is in today? How did you get in this condition? Good question. Uh, how did you start off? What did your fathers do? I'm not talking about your fathers and slaves. I'm talking about before you became that. Mm. Came to bring you some good news. Man came. His name is Master Far Muhammad. You're going to hear that name. We're going to drive that name home. For our enemies have always been watching among the slave because he knows prophecy. And he knew that one day we would get a visit. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Well, it is written in the Bible that God would come at the end of the workings of Satan. Yes, We're at the end. That's right. yes, sir. He came among us yes. from Mecca and he raised a Georgia born black man. Brothers and sisters, I'm, I'm here to tell you that your savior is not a Caucasian. Come, Come on. on. I don't mean to hurt your feelings. Come on. Come on. Come on. Wake us up. <laughs> I know. I know you've been looking for a good white man. <laughs> I love 
I've been searching among them too. I might have found a half of one. Go <laughs> ahead. But in truth, I'm not going to waste my time looking for no good cracker. Yes. I'm trying to find a good brother. Go ahead. Don't you see his world is running out? That's why he's turning on us again. Because he know he had but a little time. Go ahead. Go ahead. His world is turning upside down. He see the black man rising again and now he can't help it. He's going off. The man is crazy. Yes, sir. <laughs> You gotta like Trump. That he's telling you and proving to you the white man is a liar. Go ahead. Oh, man, a man, I like Trump. Yes, sir. I'm gonna vote for Trump eight times. We need. We need. The Trump will wake us up. Yes, he right. I don't want to put no white man in office that read us a bedtime story. Go ahead. I want a white man in office that read us a five time story. Go ahead. And smack us upside our head. I like a white man that tells me I don't like niggas. That's right. Come on, see, I'm my kind of person. Go ahead. Because right. I don't like you. That's right. right. We clear. I hope this is the kind of group that's like that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's wrong with you telling the truth? That's right. You can't handle the truth, see, because you're looking for a good wife. You've been buried in bedtime stories. Yeah. Come on. You have been buried under the white god syndrome. Come on, come on, come on. You have been made to think that the good tooth fairy is going to save you. Come on, come on, come on. Santa Claus. Uh, look at you, look at you. You still high in Easter egg. Come on, now. A rabbit can't even be black. The rabbit is white. Go ahead, go ahead, now. Oh, I thank you, Master Farad Muhammad. Yes. Thank you for coming among us and raising a Georgia-born black man. Yes. I can boast that my God look like me. Yes, sir. Come on. Uh, how can God be the God of the white man and the black man? Think on that. Think. Come on. We call that Matthew. No, no. Think with me. Come on. Come on. Yes, sir. When you was a slave, when we were slaves. We both praying to the white man's God. Who do you think that God was listening to? Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Think on was it? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> How can the slave and the slave master have the same God? Because the slave master is going to pray for most slaves. And the slave is going to pray to be free. How is the white man's God going to free you? Come on, change that sign, brother. Go ahead. All right. Yes, yes sir. 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 Thank you, Master Farad Muhammad. Over and over. Thank you for coming to the East seeking to save that which is lost. Thank you for fulfilling the book of Deuteronomy when you said, and when I find them, I'm going to raise one from among them. Yes. Huh? Yes. And I'm going to put my words in his mouth. Thank Allah, for you said in the book of Malachi that closes out the Old Testament, you said, I'm going to send you Elijah. That's right. That's right. That's right. And Elijah will turn the hearts of the children back, back. Turn your heart back because it's turned the white folks right now. <laughs> That's right. But I'm going to turn it back to black. Lest I smite the earth with a curse. And this man, Elijah Muhammad, became the first begotten of slaves that was dead. His mind became so pregnant with God's wisdom that from his mind, his mind became a sheep. And from his mind, he produced a son. And that man in our midst today, this is why I thank God that I can't say I found God. I thank him for finding me. Yes. Go ahead. Uh, 
I was stupid as hell. I was dumb. Come on, brother. I was in Georgia being Tony Dixon. Who the hell is that? I look like a nigga. <laughs> I don't know how that look, but I, you right, sister. <laughs> I thank a lot <laughs> that he found me. Go ahead. Because I sung the church song that says amazing grace. Right. How sweet the sound. Right. But when I was singing, I didn't know the wretch was me. <laughs> I was lost. Yes, sir. Now I'm found blind and I can somewhat see. Thank you, Elijah, for producing your son. One that's got the world of white people shook up. His name, when it's mentioned, is like Mufasa in the Lion King. The hyenas start tripping. Mufasa. Uh, Farrakhan got a name like this. When you hear the word Farrakhan, the world have two opinions. You either love it or you hate it. Come on. Love it. Come on. Some black people, you, you be lying. I, I like Brother Farrakhan, but I don't believe everything he said. You ain't never heard everything. Then when we ask you, well, what did he say you don't believe? Go ahead. You start lying. That's right. You ain't heard nothing. You just heard a lot. Right. You just know that he challenged white folks and you don't, that makes you uncomfortable. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. So, in their holy and righteous names, I greet you in the greeting words of peace and I pray that I have interrupted your grave. Mm. Come on now. It's time to dig you out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because you're buried under lies. Yes, sir. You're buried under the wrong name. Yes, sir. You're buried under false images. Dig deep, bro. You're buried in the wrong culture. Oh, yeah. You're buried in the wrong religion. Come on, oh, you think you got the religion of God, and you ain't got nothing to prove that you got the religion of God, but hell. That's right. So I greet you all in the greeting words of peace of Aslam Lakeham. Well, Islam, sir. Brothers and sisters, how y'all feeling? Fine, sir. You sure? Cause you sure you feeling fine? Cause white folks in trouble. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I mean, brothers and sisters, I just have to keep it real. Can I just keep it one? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Always have. Double up. Double up. His world is in trouble. Yeah. He's losing. And you are in trouble if you stay with him. Right, right, right. I want to thank the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan for his investment in us. I thank him for his unequal guidance and counsel. I thank him for being so wise that he can see your weaknesses, but he don't even speak to it. He go around and he get to the God in you. Come on, go ahead. Huh? I thank Minister Farrakhan because unlike us, he don't have the searchlight of Columbus. Go ahead. Jeez. Those of us at Miles 27, we have to be careful because many of us have the Columbus Syndrome. Come on, mm. come on, come on now. Mm. Wow. Always settling on the worst part of each other. What is wrong with you? That's why we were given a lesson and Elijah was asked the question, why did we let? Half original man Columbus discover the poor part Let him. Come of on. the planet Earth. Come on. Because Columbus didn't find the best part. No, sir. Sir. He found the poor part. And the answer is God is the originator and maker of the earth. He did not care about the poor part. 
he kept the best part of what? Preserve for himself. See, he only cares about the best of you. So I don't care nothing about you being no gangster or no gang member. You ain't that. That's imaginary. That's an illusion. Go ahead. I don't care nothing about you saying, oh, I'm a diva. No, you ain't that. Go ahead. I thank the Lord yes, yes, for having a man like the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan oh, yes, who is in trouble with white folks. Yes, sir. But I want to say this. The white folks is in trouble with God Good. by having a problem with Brother Farrakhan. So I thank him. I want to thank the laborers. I want to thank those who open up. You all sound so beautiful. And I pray to Allah that right. I'm able to meet you today. <laughs> so my subject. <laughs> my subject. We're getting close to your Easter. <laughs> when white people buried us in Christianity, buried it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very much. Don't get upset, brothers and sisters. Please. Those who are here and those who are watching, I, I, I only ask my Christian pastor brothers whom I love one question. Mm -hmm. When did Jesus say he was a Christian? Go ahead. Just think about it. Show me in the Bible where Jesus said, I am a Christian. You will never find it. First of all, English wasn't even around. Right. The English language is only 500 now, maybe 600 and some odd years old. Jesus came 2,000 years ago. So English wasn't even spoke nowhere on the planet. There is, there is no Arabic or Hebrew word that translates into Christianity. Come on, think about it. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. Let's just get it, right. get it right. I had a pastor just going through his Bible. I, I'm young. We had Starbucks. I had to drink eight cups of coffee. <laughs> Brother said, what you had? <laughs> Y'all always in my coffee business. <laughs> you won't find it. That's right. That's right. But one of the things that Christianity, one of its foundational beliefs, is the resurrection of the day. Yes, sir. Now, here we are, black people, 400. 500 years up from slavery, and even today, we don't even know what the resurrection means. Man, think on that. Think on that. So from the teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, as it's being taught to us by the honorable minister Louis Farrakhan, he said to us, brother, in order to know how one can be resurrected, you have to know the levels in which one can die. Mm. Y'all all right? There are two stages of death before you get to physical death. Two stages. The Christians believe. <laughs> now, if your whole belief is on the resurrection of the dead, follow me now. When I talk to my Christian friends, I was talking to a pastor maybe a year or so ago. I said, Pastor, help me to understand something. <laughs> now, let me, because I don't want to assume. When it comes to the resurrection of the dead, 
I said, do you mean to tell me that over in Inglewood Cemetery, all that's going to get up? Come on. Uh -huh. <laughs> Come on now. I said, right, before you answer that, think now. Think with me before you answer that. Inglewood Cemetery, thousands of people buried. Are they on top of the ground? No, sir. Didn't they put them in a casket? Right. Didn't they put in bombing fluid in it? Right. You don't even know if the hospital took your loved one lungs, heart, spleen. Some white man in Beverly Hills might be walking around with nothing on top. Go ahead. That's right. Jeez. Then after they put you in a casket, didn't they put you in another steel casket? Yes, sir. And they put you how many feet down? Six. Six. Mm. Man. And then they put dirt on top of it. Didn't they lock all of that? Yeah. So I said, pass. Pass it away. On that day, are you telling me that my grandmama knew? Mm. That's what I said. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I know y'all sophisticated. <laughs> Nim is bigger than them. Right, right. Nim and a whole bunch of people. Right, right. Everybody. Right. Go ahead. I know the teachers know me. It's, it's them. No, no, no. It's Nim. You mean to tell me home more Nim? Right. That. Your whole basis of Christianity is the resurrection of the dead. So you're telling me that those people in those graves are going to get up and walk. Come on. Come on. And that brother said yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's okay. Right. I said, okay, pastor. Then if that's the basis of your religion, Come on. where is your church located? Well, my church is at 120th and Central. I said, why is it, why is it located there? Since the basis is the resurrection of the dead, shouldn't your church be in the cemetery? Go ahead. Come on. Start a study. I said, Pastor, do you think you with Jesus? Uh -oh. Yes. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I said, then prove it. Do you have the power that Jesus has? Then I want to walk over to the cemetery, and I want to hear you say it to everybody, all of them brothers and sisters that's in there. I want you to say, get up. <laughs> this is the day of resurrection. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm not being funny. No, yes, this is sir. true. All facts. So can I can I help you with what the resurrection really means? Come on, yes, come sir. On, Pick them up, brother. Because the resurrection of the what? Dead. Dead. How many ways have they killed the black man? Brothers, are, are, are you, did you wake up this morning? Yes, yes sir. sir. Are you sure? No, good question. Because your eyes is open, does that mean you are awake? Come on, come on, yes, come on, make it plain, brothers. <laughs> did you rise up out of the bed today and stand on your two feet? Come on, come on. Well, here's the question, who's standing? That's right, that's the Think question. About it. Think about it. Did you walk to the bathroom and into the kitchen? Did you show up at the mosque today? Come on, mm. come on, yes sir. Did you really? Mm. Come on, man, come on. Because you're walking and because you're talking and because you're smiling and because you can hear, does that mean you're alive? Mm. No, sir. Come on. Can you be walking and dead at the same time? Yes, sir. Thank you. Now check this out. Let's see if this make any sense from the teachings of this great man, Elijah Muhammad. Yes, what a sir. man. 
Here's a man, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, told the world I met face to face with God. We had a question in our study circle. Those of you who don't come to study, oh, you misses. You know, in truth, I have to say this. Mars 27 needs a resurrection. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the only way to be resurrected is to study certain. Good teach. Good teach. Because we're drifting. In the back. <laughs> so the question was asked, how can the nation, how can we prove that Allah God is a man and walked among us? Question. Here's how. I think it was Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson said, I fear the day when God's anger is visited on us. He talked about justice coming to the black man for what their ancestors had done to us. Go ahead. That's what he said. Man. For you can't do a people the way they've done us and God don't answer it. Go ahead. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. So we are taught in the nation that there we don't believe in no physical resurrection. We believe in the mental right. resurrection. Come on, come on. Come on. Yes, sir. So as my pastor was saying these things to me that he thinks the graves that's in all of these cemeteries are going to open up. Come on, homies. Come on, brothers and sisters. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> Check this out. Let's say you pack it. You know what packing means? Yes, sir. What does packing mean? Got your weapons. See, good. We cleared that word. Yes, sir. <laughs> mean you got your peace, right? Yes, sir. Go ahead. So, so let's say you got your pocketbook. <laughs> Y'all ain't heard that word in most of us. What's up, pocketbook? <laughs> Y'all out west. Y'all ain't got some Miss Gamblar handbags. <laughs> <laughs> you know your little fake Louis Vuitton. <laughs> <laughs> we don't get the real thing. Why get the real thing when you can be when you get fake? <laughs> Question. If you were walking by the Inglewood Cemetery, <laughs> and you saw something coming up out the grave, come on, come on, are you gonna say hallelujah? No, sir. <laughs> or would you take out your piece? Come on. <laughs> See, don't, don't get spooky on me. That's right. Jesus. So I, I had to show the pastor a couple of verses. Let, let's show this. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, that's in the book of what? Job. Job. That's in the seventh chapter. Chapter, verses 9 and 10. It reads As the cloud is consumed and vanished away. So he that goeth down to the grave shall come up no more. No more. No more. So I said, Pastor, now you do go by your Bible. Oh, no. Yes, brother. I believe in it wholeheartedly. Then it goes on to say, He shall return no more to this house, neither shall his place know him anymore. I said, do you agree or disagree with that? Mm -hmm. He stopped talking. Because <laughs> he read something that made him go what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he said, well, you, you found one. And I said, okay. okay. <laughs> he will love her. Job went on to say, Job chapter 14. 
Since he, if he didn't get it straight. But man, what? Dying. Dying and wasting away. Mm. Yea, man, give up the ghost. Mm. And where is he? Come on. As the waters fell from the sea. And the flood decayed and dried up. So man lieth down and rises not. Nah. Till the heavens be no more. They shall not awake nor be raised out of their sleep. That's it. That's all right. I mean, I can go in the New Testament and find many more proofs. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But here's something I want you to know. You are not just your body. That's come right. on, come on. Teach, teach. That's, That's right. You can't be that. That ain't your body. Just take your bones, liver, all of that. Really, it ain't really worth much. Go ahead, go ahead. Not the house. No, sir. That part of you that's valuable, man, it only weighs a few ounces. Teach, teach. I'm talking about your essence. I'm talking about your spirit on, that's inside of the body. The body comes from the earth, so it has to go back. That's right. But you and me didn't come from the earth. We're from God. Go ahead. Oh, that part. Go ahead, now. We're from God. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. Now, let me ask you a question. Can y'all see me? Yes, sir. No, you can't. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You see where I live, but you don't see me. You see the house that I decorated with this suit. Go ahead. Go ahead. I see you. I see you. Y'all ain't got to tell me I'm sharp. 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 I'm but this is my house that I decorated. Yes, right, right. I did it. My body didn't do this. I did it to my body. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going to ask you again. Can you see me? No. Yes, sir. You kind of can approximate where you think I am. Right. Yes, come on. You see my hand moving? No, sir. Let me ask you a question. Do you see what's moving it? No, no sir. No, no sir. Wow. So I don't want you to get carried away when your loved one died and you see a body sitting there and you start talking to him. Uh -oh. Or every year you go to the cemetery and talk to dirt. Mm. Think about it. I'm sorry. They not down there. No, sir. How many ounces of brain do Caucasian people have according to our teachings? And how many ounces of brain do the black man have? Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Wait a minute, but the brain weighs approximately four pounds. Come on, come on. Well, what is this of? What is of me? Yes, sir. So the essence of me, my energy, my spirit, which can neither be created nor destroyed, but it can change form. Go ahead. Yeah. Come on. Mm. Let me ask you something. Can y'all see this suit? Yes, yes sir. sir. What's doing the looking? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's My eyes? No, 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 no. Your eyes ain't what's doing the looking. Jeez. It's that part of you that's using the eyes to look. Go ahead. Come on. Because the dead can't see. Right. And they got, you can open up the dead eye. They can't see nothing because that person ain't in there no more. They went home. Go ahead. Right. Right. deep. God is not a waster of life. He draws you up out of that body, man, back to himself for recycling. Woo. Come on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Peace. That's why I say on that day, you will see the prophets of old walking around, not in the same body. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's right. Since energy can neither be created nor destroyed, this is why God is constant. Right. 
The body is like a light bulb. When this one goes, he gets another. You are old soul. You ain't just got here. You've been here probably millions of times. But every time you come through the birthing chamber, it's such a shock you forget. That's right. Go ahead. That's why I says on that day he'll bring all things back to your remembrance. That's right. That's what it says. Yes, sir. This is why you can feel the pain of your ancestors if you weren't so high. Yes, sir. If you weren't so drunk on the white man's world. Go ahead. If you want so much into his name, you can feel his pain, but you can't feel the pain in your people. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. Y'all sticking with me now. You talking about the resurrection of the what? My God. Go ahead. That's how they do this, too. Can I move this out the way? Yes, sir. Oh, we 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 going to class. Yeah. Yes, sir. On, Let's get it. Put it on. See, you ain't gonna get preached to in here. You get taught. That's right. right. Big difference. You ever talk to a Negro on the corner? He say, "See what I'm saying?" Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. You should say, "Hell no, I don't see nothing." <laughs> I'm gonna get you to see what I'm saying. Right. Make that point, right. Make that point. So that we can have agreement. Right. Because God said, wherever my people are gathered, come on, come on. I don't care how many of you it is, I'm there also. Go ahead. Go ahead. In agreement. That's right. In agreement. All I want you to do today is agree or disagree, but don't disagree on the basis that you know more. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't need you to disagree with me based on how you feel. Right. Who gives a damn about your feeling? Right. Because your feeling is based on your perception, and your reception has been shaped by the white man's world. Teach. You don't even think like a black man or a black woman or a brown man. You think like white people because you have their education. Therefore, you got their mind. Like white people, I can prove you do. You still got their name. Huh. Come on, Go you got me. On. I see what you're saying now. <laughs> the resurrection of the what? Yeah. yeah. Brother, we have been a hell of a target by these crackers. Come on, come on. Still the target. They don't really do this kind of killing no more because. They've gotten sophisticated. They know how to do it spiritually and mentally now. Right. Come on, come on. They've done this kind of killing for so long that you have become the killer yourself. Right. For whenever a people is dominated and they can't get from under that domination, you can turn into the same thing that dominated you. Just like some of you talk against bad leadership for so bad and for so long that when you become the leader, you become just like what you right. replaced. Go ahead. Right. Now everybody's talking about you. Right. Teach. But it feel good when you're sitting in the ranks and ain't in leadership. Right. Go ahead. But when you sitting in the ranks and the people that's in leadership, they're in the spotlight. Oh, yeah. Therefore, our flaws are going to show. Mm -hmm. And I know I disappoint the hell out y'all all the time. You all right, brother. You all right. No, it's all right. It's good. I ain't perfect. I told you don't follow me. <laughs> that's right. Now, y'all all all right? Yes, sir. Let's get back. Now, these are, tell them to be quiet. Does it make sense that when people die and they get buried six feet under, can you kind of see that that's not them? 
Do you know some of us worship our body? Yes, sir. Yeah. God hates that. Once you worship your body and start thinking that you are your body, you are suffering from polytheism. You're not your body. Don't get carried away with that piece. Because that's decaying every day. And do you know your spirit is so powerful, but if your body is breaking down, the spirit don't even want to be there no more. I don't know about you. I don't want to get so old where I can't do nothing. I'm, I'm sorry. I, just, I can't get up and go. See, I like to move. I, 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 I don't want to be laying around with a machine breathing for me. Go ahead, go ahead. I told my family, do not connect me with no mechanical machine. That's right. That's right. Let the natural thing take process. Go ahead. Stop trying to preserve me for your selfishness. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. God's calling me back. Let me go back so I can be recycled. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. I don't want to be laying down and my daughter changing my diaper. Come on. Go ahead. That's real talk. That's real talk. If I can't soldier, if I can't knock out a crack, if I can't fight. Come on. Come on, brother. Yes, sir. I want to be able to fight, man. Right. I mean, if I can move my head, okay, leave me alone, because I can headbutt that. Smooth. <laughs> don't plug me up to no machine. That's right. That's right. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. So when man die and go in the ground, the scriptures say he goes in never to return. The body, that body ain't coming back. But you may come back. That's right. Teach. See? And this is why as long as you are making babies, brother, as long as you're putting your seed out there and it's connecting with the sister, you live forever. Go ahead. So at a family reunion, hear you coming back now through other children. Go ahead, go ahead. We see the child do something, we say, man, that go grandmama right there. Right. Look at that girl, she act just like grandma. Go ahead, go ahead. See? Yes, sir. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. So we don't believe in the resurrection of the physical dead. I'm sure I've showed you these. Well, what do we believe? Come on, come on. That's right. Uh, Light you up. Go ahead. He says, we believe in the resurrection of the what? Yeah. Yeah. Not in the physical resurrection. Yes, sir. But in the what? Mental resurrection. We believe that the so-called, that the what? So-called so Negroes are most in need of mental resurrection. Sir. Okay, stop right there. Please. How do you die mentally? Mm. See, mental state of being is your cultural expression. Mm. Let me ask you a question. In America, do black people express African culture? What kind of culture are we expressing in America? Western culture. What comes with culture? A name. Come on, come on. Do you have your name? No, sir. Who name you have? My name. Oh, now y'all don't want to tell. Go ahead. <laughs> I told you my last name. That's when you know God has been here because the people who was out of control, the people who was not themselves, He returned them back to themselves. Right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Black people weren't changing their names until Master Farad Muhammad came. Yeah. Go ahead. It was Master Farad Muhammad that told Elijah Muhammad, Pool is not your name. Right. And Elijah Muhammad said, God, give me my name. That's true. That's true. Then he showed him in the Bible that a name is worth more than all the gold in the earth. Oh, no. Come on, brother. 
God? Kind of? Sort of? You had the potential to become one with God. Now, if you are a proud father and you give birth to a child, but the mother put him in another man's name, how would that make you feel? Oh, my God. Hey. That part. Yes, sir. Jesus. My God. That part. Wait, 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 wait. wait. What, what? Yeah. What's y'all in there? His name is Miguel Acati. <laughs> That's not my name. That, that's, that's your dude's name. Think. Think on that. No, no I'm, I'm not talking about a fake man. Because a fake man don't give a damn. You don't want to claim him no way. I'm talking about a real man. That's my seed. I want that boy to have my name. This man is carrying an imposter's name. Well, well. Think about how mad you are, and that's a little angry. Think how mad God is when all of his people is out of there, man. So, we in need of what kind of resurrection? Let me ask you a question, because with a culture comes a language. What's your language? Depend on who conquered me, sir. Right. Go ahead. Teach. <laughs> who conquered your black man in America? The British. <laughs> then what names you have? English. Right. Right. Where is England? <laughs> Over in London somewhere. <laughs> England ain't in America, but you speak English. Right. Right. Then you can go to parts of Africa, Nigeria, and ask them, what language you speak here? Oh, uh, French. Allez-vous français? Go ahead. Je m'appelle Tony Dixon. Je viens de Atlanta. That's all I know. <laughs> See? You, you follow me? Yes, sir. We believe in the resurrection of the dead, not in the physical resurrection, but in the mental resurrection. <laughs> We believe that the so-called Negroes are in most need of mental resurrection. See, when we say this to white people, do you know it this disturbed them? Right, right. Why? <laughs> What's wrong with the names you have? <laughs> That's our owner. Right. That's how our owner is supposed to react. That's come right. on, come on. Because right. they think they own us. Right. <laughs> And they think you shouldn't worry about a name. You should just keep what you have. Right. Let bygones. That's, how, that's the way the devil talks. God don't talk like that. God don't say let bygones be bygones. How does God talk? As you have done. Mm. So shall it be done unto you. Uh, those who have taken people into captivity shall go into captivity. Go ahead. See, so don't give me that let bygones. Give me what God said. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. Therefore, they will, they will be resurrected what? First. You ain't found a group like the nation of Islam. Yes. we on this planet. Yes. are the people of God's choice yes, right there yes, as it is written that God would choose the rejected and the despised mm -hmm. we can find no other person fitting this description in these last days more than the so called Negroes in America we believe in the resurrection of the righteous Go ahead. that's what we believe yes sir can I ask you a question? Yes, sir. Do you know how you were in your original state? No, sir. Then how do we go from pyramid builders to project dwellers? Uh -oh. Think about that. Uh -oh. Think about it. Uh -oh. What happened to us? So the Bible in the book of Luke said a certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho. Come on. But in between here, we fell amongst thieves. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Jerusalem means a place found and built in peace. Right. The word Jericho means a city of confusion. Wow. Go ahead. We confused. 
Yes, yes. 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 Uh-huh. I'm talking about the black, the brown, the red, yes. the yellow. Very much so. And then white folks confuse, shame on them. Oh. Right. Yeah. <laughs> They're not confused, it's their world. Right. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. Uh-oh. Not only that, were we ever rulers? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sisters. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Were you ever respected by the whole world? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. What were you called when you were respected by the whole world? Queens. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, you mean like this? Go ahead. How did we go from kings and queens to pimps? Oh. Wow. That's right. Go ahead, Bob. Put that back. Pick them up, brother. Man. How did we go? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you don't say keep it king. Yeah. Go ahead. Keep it king, homie. Keep it king. <laughs> Because a king rules. That's right. That's right. A king is an owner, a maker. That's right. See? And you will never see a king without his queen. Go in African artifacts. Every time you see a stone or a statue of a black king, his queen is always right there. Because in truth, on the chessboard, on the chessboard, even white folks know it. Go ahead. We ain't got the power. That's right. right. Go ahead. That's why he want our queen. That's right. 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 Go ahead. He know who got the power. If he can keep the black woman dumb, he keeps a whole nation dumb. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. If he keep the brown woman dumb or the red woman dumb, or the, he always go after the woman to put his raggedy seed in her. Go ahead. So that he can produce a mutt. Right. Right. I'm sorry, am I, am I too, being too hard? No, sir! Go ahead! I'm a different kind of preacher, I told y'all. I ain't like them pastors y'all used to. Go ahead. I cuss a little bit. Go ahead, go on. Go ahead. It's alright. But I ain't cussed today, not yet. But damn it, it's coming. Go ahead. See the people in my oh my God. <laughs> He's not a real preacher. <laughs> the, them preachers that you say is real is real, and we ain't got no religion. Right. right. How do we go from what? Queen. 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 To this. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> what happened? Good what happened? How many of us in here dislike the KKK? Raise your hand. Are you sure? Think about it. Think about it. How long did they beat us? Four hundred five years. How long did they kill us, murder us, hang us, castrate us? So let me ask you a question. What's the difference? Woo. Good question. Come on. Come on. What is the difference in these two groups? Not one. Not one. They both produce the same product. Go ahead. Killing niggas. Right. Same color. If you belong to one of them, don't try to fix it. Don't try to fix it in your head. Go ahead. Go ahead. Don't even say, this is black. No, it ain't. They ain't black, they got black skin. Go ahead. They even got the same color. Come on. Red, white, and blue. These are the original gangsters. This is Menace One. This is Menace Two society. Go ahead. That's right. See, when the games, when we get to them, brother, when they see that they're being used, right. so the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, why does the devil keep our people illiterate? Go ahead. The answer is so that he can use them as a tool and all sorts of slaves. Yes. Go ahead. Yes. Huh? He keeps them blind to the knowledge of themselves so that he can what? Use them. Yes, Sam. That's what I'm Good teaching. 
I want you to go home and I want you to Google the Grand Wizard's letter to the gang members of LA and they thanking them. Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Come on, come on. The Grand Wizard thanks the Bloods and the Crips of LA and say, You all are my niggas. Man. Right. That's right, Muhammad. Man. You remember that movie Tales in the Hood? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Remember when the brother, what is his name? Crazy Jack. Crazy Jack. <laughs> and remember when he went to prison and he was put in the cell next to a white supremacist? Go ahead, go ahead. And the white supremacist said, you my nigga. That's right. Spade. Remember that? <laughs> he was showing the brother his tattoos of all the black people he killed. He said, who did you kill? Right. And then the picture in his mind, it was flashing everybody he murdered. Man. Was not this man. Come on. Come on. Hmm. I ain't got no problem with the bloods and the grips. I just don't like your product. Right. Come on. Come on. See, the white man know you mad. He know it's time for you to be resurrected. He know it's time for you to wake up. But he's waking you up to yourself is the enemy and not him. Go ahead, go ahead. Bloods and Crips, you got the right spirit. Right. Just with the wrong man. That's go ahead. Right. That's right. You need to find your general. You may say, well, who is my general? Go ahead. I won't give you his name. Think about that. Think about that. I hate Boston. I hate everything that come out of Boston. I, I hate that New England Patriots. <laughs> I'm being honest. They represent white supremacy. Right? Right? That's why I love these brothers. When they wake up. Yes, sir. Go ahead. When they come up out of this stupor, yes, they'll have them on the run. <laughs> this is why we have another lesson that says, why does Muhammad mm. and any Muslim murder their devil? Go ahead. Go ahead. Not murder white man. Right. They physically don't do that. Right. Right. Make a plan. I don't know. You murder him in here. Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yes, sir. Murder him in here. That's right. Right. Murder that white man that makes you look at another black man. Go ahead. Like ready Go ahead. to do something. See, when the white man walk in your community, you want to get to know him. Right. See, you murder that devil. The Church of the Latter Day Saints send them white boys to the hood. You don't never say, "Nigga, where you from?" Right. No. He knocking on your door, putting your, making sure your grandmother is still in her religious grave. Wow. That's right. That's right. Come on now. Y'all ever see them? Church of Latter Day Saints? They on skateboard. Man. Yeah. Bicycle. They got their backpacks. They got a lot. They just walk right up to the blood and quit. Hi, guys. <laughs> Playing basketball. Still believe in Jesus? <laughs> you don't say nothing. <laughs> because you know to even question them, you already know what's going to come if you touch them. <laughs> Police don't even look for you if you kill a black man. They act right. like they right. want to know who did it. They don't care. As long as you keep doing you. Kill one white boy. They'll tear this whole hood up. They'll tear it up so bad you'll start snitching. They're going to come every day. They're going to make sure you don't live comfortably. Go ahead. Until you give it up. Come on. Come on. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. What are we talking about? The resurrection, resurrection of the world? Yeah. Yeah. Check, check. 
Here's how we die. It's in the Bible. Genesis 15. And he said unto Abram, Know of a surety that thou seed will be a stranger in a land that is what? Not there. Is America yours? No, no sir. sir. Come on now, sir. Talk how you really talk. Just from America, like you're talking to Bobby Shaw. Nigga, this is our country, nigga. I love going in the barbershop, just being quiet and listening right. to stupidity. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm in the barber. Man, we ought to bomb Saddam Hussein. What do you mean, we? We. <laughs> we. Where's your jet park, brother? Right. They're coming over here trying to kill us. No, no. They're already here killing you. Right. Ain't no terrorists coming to South Central. They ain't gonna get no credit. Right. <laughs> Have you ever noticed you never was among the dead? Go ahead. Think wow. about it. Jeez. Think about it. Jeez. Rarely. It's mostly them. That's right. right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can you imagine ISIS coming and killing up some homeless people? Come on, come on. Wow. White man, I make sure to say, oh, that's who you're after? Bring more. <laughs> right. <laughs> no maturity. What? Yeah. Are we in a strange land? Yes, yes sir. sir. Is it ours? No, no sir. sir. It's not theirs. And they shall serve them, and they shall afflict them for how many years? Four hundred years. Here's God talking. And also that nation, meaning America, Go ahead. whom they shall serve. Will I judge afterwards? Shall they come out with great suffering? Can you imagine going through this and saying, after this, we're going to come out with great substance? And thou shalt go to thy fathers in peace. In what religion? Peace. peace. Thou shalt be buried in a good old age. I mean, have we been afflicted? Yes, sir. See, brothers. See blood, see crib. How can I do to the black man after he done did this? Wow. 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 What Good question. Good question. Why am I allowing my mind to be used like a remote control by white people in Beverly Hills? I have become the new Frankenstein for the white man. I ain't got killing no Europeans on my mind. I was riding the other night and I saw a whole car full of homies smoking. I knew what that was. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I just pulled out my window and said, get this. <laughs> they rolled down the window, smoke everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I said, man, what y'all about to do? Uh -huh. Nigga, it's on. Mm. I said, so which way y'all going to Beverly Hills? <laughs> right. <laughs> They looked at me and said, you going to Beverly Hills because I want to go. Right. Let's get it. They bombed out, man. <laughs> they looked at me like I was crazy. Ooh, I know I'm in trouble. Y'all all right, brother? Yes, sir. What are we talking about? Resurrection. Resurrection out of what? Yeah. Now, how can we die? Can we die spiritually? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How? So. How do you die spiritually? Did you change God's? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me ask you a question. Did we have a religion before white people yes. came and kidnapped us? Yes, sir. The religion we had, did we have our own? Yes, yes sir. sir. Had our own land, our own schools, our own hospitals. Now since we got here, what do we have? Yes. Mm. Right. Are you still going to pray to that God? Think mm. about After 400 years, look at what happened. The original man peeled off and he developed this man. This is his product. Think about that. Think about that. This man is a dead man. Just marinate on that a bit. When they found us, we was in this condition. I, this, this is, brother, do you know how big this continent is? Think about it. Go ahead. 
You can put America inside of this continent two or three times. Go ahead. That's right. You from the biggest continent on the planet and you want a hood. Go ahead. My God. You calling yourself seven dudes over. You done shrunk yourself so small, nigga, you can't do never walk up and down 72nd Street. Man. Because if you bent your way, you walk right into your made up enemy's territory. Wow. wow. Made up. Go ahead. Man. They took this out of our head and downloaded this virus. Their names, their language, their cultures made us believe God looked like the same man that enslaved us. So in actuality, when we pray, we pray to that image. Go ahead. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. Look at Deuteronomy. Did this happen to us? Yes, sir. For they will turn away thy sons from following me. Did we turn from following our own God? I don't really yes, talk about yes, 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 sir. That they may serve what? Other gods. Mm. So will the angel of the Lord be kindled against you and destroy thee suddenly. We're talking about the resurrection of the dead. Yes, sir. This scripture, Jeremiah, saw us coming into bondage. Yes, he did. See, when I show this stuff to preachers, it's like, I'm like, what theological cemetery school are you into? <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah saw us. I'm talking about people of color. Jeremiah 11 and 9, 19. But I was like a lamb or an ox that is brought to what? Slaughter. Oh. Were we brought to slaughter? Yes, sir. And I knew not that they had devised devices against me. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. When they showed up with the ships to Africa, they act like they was our what? Friends. Yes. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. They tricked us on the boats. They said, black man, come go with me. You can get more gold for your labor. And they came on a ship named Jesus. They did. That's the first slave ship. The name of that ship was Jesus. In 1555, Sir John Hawkins. Once they got us on the boat, they took down the cross and put up the cross bone in the skull. Hit you in the head. A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and he fell amongst what? But I was like a lamb or an ox that is brought to slaughter. And I knew not that they had devised devices against me, saying, Look at what they said. Let us destroy the tree. You. You the tree. Yes, sir. Because if I destroy you, if I make you into a prostitute, into a whore, Go into a B-I-T-C-H, that's Go all you're going to produce. That's right. Wow. Man. Go ahead. I'm, I'm telling you, brother, when women get so low down, That's who your babies come through. Think about it. And in the first trimester of her pregnancy, what's forming? The brain. The thinking. So if she's a killer, if she's a murderer, if she's a liar, if she's a whatever, that child ain't going to fall too far from the tree that produced it. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. Let us destroy the tree with the fruit thereof. And let us cut him off from the land of the living. Look at this. See, this is how important your name is. That his name may be no more remembered. Wow. Did you get destroyed? Oh, what did he do to deserve that? Look at the beast. See, and this is why the Bible described the white man as a beast. Good. That's right. That's right. Yeah, you become it too. You like your father. What did he do? Let us cut him off. I was like a lamb or an ox that is brought to what? Slaughter. They, they just weren't satisfied with chaining my brother to the tree they tied his damn hand to. Strange fruit, huh? Sure. Women too. That's right. That's right. And babies. Come on, brother. 
Let us destroy the tree with the fruit thereof. Lord have mercy. Now we doing it to ourselves. Think about it. Think about it. This is what happened. A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and they fell amongst what? Thieves. Which stripped him of his raiment, clothing, name, language, culture, and wounded him and departed, leaving us half dead. Half dead mean a half learned man, but brothers, good news, this man came. Yes, sir. Caucasians don't want you to get to know. Go ahead. Because they know the nation is not lying. That's God right. showed us. That's That's right. Right. This man came from the east, as it's written in the scripture. <laughs> he came to seek and to save that which was lost. This is the good Samaritan. This man in 1930, when he made himself known, he started changing our name. Yes, right. There's a man Go ahead. going around. Taking names. Uh, he raised 25,000 and gave them names, and the white man went crazy That's because right. we were becoming Kareem. Go ahead. Go ahead. We were becoming Bay. We show up in court. We didn't say my name was Sadi. I'm Sharif. Yes. I'm Sharifa. Go ahead. Uh, yes, sir. White man could wait, 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 wait. Where are you from? We wouldn't say I'm from Alabama. We say I'm from the earth. Go ahead. That's what I said. I didn't say earth. Earth. I said earth with an F. That's all that. Whole thing. That means a whole thing. Go ahead. Because he gave us our deed. He told us how much property we own. And he gave it to us in actual facts. Go ahead. He said that land covers 196,940,000 square miles. He said a whole earth belonged to people of color. Oh, and the white man is a Johnny come lately. Yes. 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 CP time. We have to send him back to Europe. Go ahead. Some of y'all don't want him to go. You a hide some too. <laughs> you wanna hide Heather? said unto him, this day is salvation come to the house. Mm. For as much as he is also the son of Abraham, for the son of man is come to seek and to save that which is lost. See, white people hate that this man showed up in Detroit, Michigan. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's what they do. Black bottom. Black. Where Jewish people had helped to turn us into garbage. Go ahead. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. But this man start teaching and the black man start becoming resurrected. Yes, uh, go ahead. Yes, white man undressed us and he came back and dressed us back up. Yes, right. yes, go ahead. But from him he raised this yes. man. Yes, sir. See, now, now the resurrection is about to start. Behold, I will send you who? Elijah. I will send you who? Elijah. Elijah. The prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Right. That's what's happening to white people. This day is getting dreadful to them. Come on, come on. People of color are waking up all over the globe. Come on now. Right. That's right. Teach. And they're telling white people, ever since y'all been here. Uh, yeah. Ever since. Come on. We've been catching hell. That's right. South Africa now. South Africa got a government and a regime that's now taking all the farmland from white people. Go ahead, Yes, sir. What, what's wrong with that? Look, I mean, just snatching it. It's like, get out. Now, white people in South Africa is forming a militia. Right. They're doing the same thing here. Right. Yes, sir. Right now. They, they did a signal of it yesterday, or day before yes, yesterday. Sir, right. test run. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's definitely a test run. Mm. You see that white man that went off in the mosque? Ooh. Ooh. See, that's why Elijah Muhammad said you should have a check for Yes, sir. Eight years ago. Eight years ago. That's right. Now, I, I 
pray, I pray, I pray. I pray if a cracker ever come up in here. Go ahead. Let, let me tell you what my first prayer is. I ain't gonna be in the acting. You know, some of y'all so hard, you always lying about what you do. <laughs> Throw a firecracker and you would go up under the chair. I pray that if a white person or a black go ahead, go ahead. Or black, no, make it clear. come in this mob shooting, I pray I don't run from him. Right. I'm not going to be saying a law whack by and going this I pray I say a lot walk by and go towards it. Yeah. Yeah. Go That's just me. I say it. I pray I do that. Go ahead. Go ahead. Now the first move, now, if I duck, that don't mean I'm punking. Right. I might duck first. <laughs> right, sensei, first thing, you know, I might do a matrix. <laughs> I gather myself. I want to go toward him. I don't want no bullet to touch women or children. Only when they get to our women, they got to kill all us. I've been, and this is why, brother, in the mosque, you should never be holding your baby. Go ahead, oh, go ahead, think about that. Think, think. Sister, you shouldn't give your child to your husband while he's in the mind. Come on, think about it. Security breach. Go ahead, go ahead. Come on. That means you gonna be fighting while he holding the baby. Think about that. That's the whole problem. The role reversal is even starting to take effect in the nation. Go ahead, go ahead. Sisters, don't try to be harder than brothers. Uh, drill like women. Don't drill like that for a while. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't want no woman harder than me. Yes, sir. I just mean you might want one. Yes, sir. Go ahead. I want a woman that's feminine. Yes, sir. But a soldier. Yes, sir. I don't want her to want to be me. Right. I want her to be her. Right. Because the Holy Quran said men and women are not alike. Right. But we are from the same essence. Come on. Come on. Yes, sir. Not the same valence. Teach, teach. Really? So, so you don't want no man that act like you do. He in MGT class with you. Oh, oh. Hey, I'm a you on a sewing machine. <laughs> Elijah found most of us. Go ahead. Right. 
Yes. Oh, yes. But when him and Farrakhan got through teaching us, yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, sisters, I need a picture of a female essence of this so that when we do this next time and have both of them, right. male and a female. Go ahead. That's right. That's right. Somebody will add a female version of it. Right. Are we being raised? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yeah. Is the nation of Islam different? Yes, yes sir. Yeah. Go ahead. The streets call us what? The brothers. brothers. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's right. That's right. And they call the sisters the sisters. All of them. Huh? Yes, sir. When they see a sister walking down the street, sister, your clothing is so angelic. It speaks a language. When you walk, you are a lecturer. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. People treat you different when you dress like that. How many of you all get treated different? Come on, come on. Well, why that? What do you mean, Simon? Is it different good or different bad? Different good. Well, why would you ever want to take it off? That's exactly right. Come on. Yes, sir. That's true. Has a part of us went in agreement with being treated bad? Change, change. Very possible. Think about that. Yeah, think. Very possible. Nice to <laughs> I'm going to leave that alone. Yes, sir. Brothers, too. Oh, brother, yeah, you too. Some of y'all be walking around in tight shirts. You know? <laughs> <laughs> now, in the Holy Quran, look at this kind of resurrection. Come on, come on. There's a whole chapter, the 75th chapter of the Holy Quran that reads, Nay, I swear, I swear by the day of resurrection, nay, I swear by the self accusing spirit. See, there's a part of you that accuses you. Go ahead. Go ahead. See, anybody got to teach you right from wrong? See, before you steal, you know it's wrong, and you have to kill that voice that say don't do it. Come on. So when you kill the self-accusing spirit, that's when the question is asked, will a man kill God? Man. Does man think that we shall not gather his bones? Yeah, we are powerful to make complete his what? Whole make. What does make mean in this sense? Come on. Think about it. See, you think physical. See, we, we're always physical first when we should be spiritual and mental first. Yes, sir. first. We always think physical, 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 physical. Make means cultural expression. Come on, come on. See? Come on. You ever seen a cup? Did you get a make on it? Yeah. Right. Come wow. on. Description. What is his description? Did you make out his name? Wow. Go ahead. Did you make out his religion? Come on. Go ahead. See? Me. Yes, sir. Why you gotta make us a new religion again? Because some man that made you other than yourself. Ooh. So I can call you together in the mosque Go and see your whole man. So I don't care if you're a Native American, I don't care if you're Mexican American, I don't care if you're Chinese. When you come here, you get made to them. When you go back out, everybody see that you are different. Mm. That's right, that's right. <laughs> that means somebody gathered your bones. Mm. Nay, man desires to go on doing evil in front of him. He asks, when is the day of resurrection? Look at, look at the answer. Look at the answer. Yeah. Go ahead. So when the sight is confused, when the what? Sight is confused. Is black people confused? Yes, sir. Is brown people confused? Yes, sir. Look at this. And the moon becomes dark. Yeah. And the sun and the moon are brought together. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. This man taught this man. Go ahead. Go ahead. So Elijah Muhammad became like the sun. Yes, sir. And Minister Farrakhan always teaching from his teaching. Go ahead. So the moon don't have no light of its own. It always reflects the light of the sun. Go ahead. Teach. Wow. But when these two come together, which is about to happen. Yes, sir. Yes, come sir. on. Come on. We're going to be left now and look at what the Quran say. Man will say on that day, will to flee. Because when the white men arrest and take Minister Farrakhan off the scene, they coming at us like you've never Good. seen before. Right. They're coming at you through vaccines. They're coming at you through food. They got you. Nay, there is no refuge with thy Lord on that day. Is the place of rest. Man 
will that day be informed of what he sent before and what he put on. That's including the members of the nation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. For unto us. Yes, sir. A child is born. Unto us a son is given. This man. This man has resurrection power. Go ahead. How be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth, man. Oh. They have never said far kind teach a lie. No. Never. 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 In fact, Minister Farrakhan said, watch the weather. Yes, he did. Right. <laughs> Didn't they just get, they called something a bomb. <laughs> it just happened in the Midwest, right? A, right. a cyclone <laughs> bomb. Right. Right. It got so cold so quick that it froze white people's cars. Yes, Man. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. We close. This man have been teaching us. And it's like in Ezekiel's will, when Ezekiel was told, prophesy to the wind, and from the winds would come exceedingly great honor. Yes, right. Who like men Look, we in a nation, they got an army, but another army is being raised. Go ahead. I prophesied, I was commanded. And the breath came into them, and they lived and stood upon their feet, an exceedingly great army. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's who we are. How do you know God visited us? Because a man turned us back to our original religion, yes, back to our original name, and now we're in his image. Man. Not this. This is what he turned us into. That's why you know a man visited us, because White man turned us into this, and God turned us into this. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is the resurrection of the day. Go ahead. Every member of the nation of Islam has been resurrected from a dead life out of the white True. man's work. True. You will not mistreat women that's dressed like that. Yes, you just. You, you can't do it. You're curious, right. but you, you just can't do it. You better not. Go ahead. <laughs> no, really. I am so afraid of this girl, and my wife will tell you, man. I, I'm careful how I handle her right. when she dresses. Yeah, yeah, I'll be like, baby, come on out, baby. Come on out. <laughs> <laughs> it speaks to your nature. Go ahead. Go ahead. You don't see nobody disrespecting nuns. Right. Come on. No, sir. <laughs> And you know, I use pictures of everybody else, but I wanted to use my little squad. Yes, sir. Yeah. Go ahead. Good. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. We're talking about the what? Resurrection. Are you ready to wake up? Yes, yes sir. sir. Are you ready to be resurrected? Yes, sir. I don't know about you, but I have a savior. Yes, sir. And he ain't white. Go ahead. That's right. <laughs> I got a savior, man. Yes, sir. And he don't have no stringy hair. Go ahead, go ahead. He's not a European. Come on. I have Please. a savior. There's a man that I can call my Lord. Come on. Go ahead. I know this is going to throw some of you black people off because you, you've been calling the white man your Lord all your all right. life. I call Please. this man my Lord. Go ahead.
praises due to Allah. Did I say something wrong? No. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. Boy, I love to teach the teachings Amen. of Elijah Muhammad. Yes, sir. Get that knowing. Brothers and sisters, how many of you enjoy what you heard today and believe that it is the truth and good for our people? Would you raise your hand? Yes, sir. Beautiful. Brothers and sisters, take what you've been given, sift it, yes, sir. fact check it. Where are you going to be taught something like this? Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right here. No. Where? No. Stop looking at you as an individual and look at your people as a whole. Since we've been in America calling on the same God white people call on, look like they get answers and we don't. Come on. Think about it. Come on, Brother Minister. Then everybody else come in this country. We've been here for about 500 years. Come on. What kind of God everybody got that we don't have? Come on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Koreans didn't get put in no slave ships. No, no. Boy, but they here, they look through America, they look at you, they like, ugh. <laughs> Go ahead now. And they look around LA, they find the area, and that area becomes what? Korean town. Go ahead. My Chinese, beautiful family, they come to America, same thing, they come into LA, they still wet. <laughs> Off the boat, they come to something like, ugh. Right. right. Look at Beverly Hills. They say, I like that, I like that, I like that. Yep. Then they find a layer and they call it what? China. Go ahead. Mm. Yes, sir. Mm. Armenians just got here. Just yes, got here yes, two yes. months ago. Still dripping. <laughs> Came to LA, looked around, looked at South Central. Ooh. Went up to Glendale. That's right. right. Oh, that's right. And now I signed up and said, what? Little oh, Armenian. Right. Just like that. Wow. Damn. Cambodians got here. <laughs> they did. They did. Looked at us and said, ooh. Went down to 405, right before you get to Orange County. Go ahead. That's a little area called Little Cambodia. That's the truth. That's the truth. That's the truth. See, see, see. What's wrong with your God? Mm. Come on. Yeah. There's a place now called Little Taiwanese. Did you know that? Go oh, ahead. Yeah. I'm going up one on one. There's a sign that say Little Taiwanese and uh -huh. Little no. Armenian. Go ahead. Come to South Central. I'm looking for something black. There's no sign of it. Right. Little. Go no. ahead. No. Where do they got us at? They got us in a place where they're experimenting. We are called a project. Right. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's right. That's right. We went from pyramid builders to project dwellers. Man. Something is wrong with your God. Go ahead. Go ahead. Think about it. When Elijah started saying God taught him, he showed us the possibility. Right. Go ahead. We had our own farms, our own teeth. Yes, sir. We can, we're going back, but the white man has been fighting Farrakhan to make sure we never make those games. Go ahead. We're about to break these chains. Yes, sir. Go ahead. We, we should take this area. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And call it little Africa town. Or Come on. Yes. Yes. We should call it nation town. Yes. Go ahead. With a big old sign. Big old sign. in the back, buy all them dilapidated houses and build mansions back there. Go ahead. That's right. That's right. We become our own police, brothers. See, that's our police uniform. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's right. We have our own police. How many of you? You say you believe what you heard today to be the truth. It's time to be resurrected. Come yes, sir. On. How many of you want to join on and learn more about the teachings of Elijah yes. and help us get our people? Stand up. Go ahead. Stand up. Go ahead. Stand up. 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 Stand
some of y'all in dark suits with beards. Go ahead, go ahead. I ain't seen a brother with the turquoise shirt on. Come on. I mean, I ain't. Come on. Come on. you been smiling at me all the time. So you might well come on down, bro. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on man. Come on. I ain't wrong without you. Yes, sir. Yeah, both of y'all. That's right. Don't be trying to not look at me, brother. <laughs> Come on, man. My brother right there. Oh, yes, yeah. Come on, man. Come on. How about you, my brother? How about you? Yes, sir. Come on. You already in? Go ahead. Go ahead, man. 